Good day, everybody. Welcome back to Barber Dave's Barber Shop at Home. I'm Barber Dave, and welcome to another shave. I'm excited to get some new software today, um, and we'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, we're going to do another DE shave today. So that was three DE shaves in a row, and then we'll get back to straights, so I'm sure, next week. So for today, kind of a military nostalgic theme. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our Gillette Fat Boy on 7 with a brand new, or no, with a uh, NACID blade in it. Uh, as far as the brush, we're going to use a vintage rubber set 404 with a TGN finest knot in it. For the soap, we are going to be using a joint. Uh, TIA, the TSC has a division called the Central Enablement Center. Now, the Central Enablement Center is basically to get everybody to buy as much as they can. And so we had a crazy idea, and graciously, Dale at Victory Soap Company, um, which is kind of a military inspired uh, soap company, uh, stepped up to the plate and he said, I'll make that for you. So what we did is we came out with the TSC CEC Tough Hombres, which was a actual uh, group in uh, World War II. And basically it was the 90th Infantry Division and uh, they were on uh, D-Day. And uh, it's kind of cool that uh, they did this. This is a limited edition. There's only 21 currently made. And uh, the scent notes are black cedar, juniper, fig leaf, and lime. So really interesting stuff. And those of you that have used uh, Victory Shaving Sump uh, Company's soaps before know that Dale is a fantastic guy and the soaps are fantastic. So for the aftershave, we're going to be using, once again, vintage uh, Aqua Velva. Uh, this is the Aqua Velva Sport. That's not so vintage, but the bottle is. And uh, we're going to be using British Sterling for the EDT. And then to finish out the vintage stuff, we're going to be using a vintage Menon Shave Talc. So I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, this is a lighter scent than um, Dale normally makes, but it's still beautiful. You get the fig, you get the lime right out of the gate, and then in the background you get the cedar and, uh, and juniper. So it's uh, really good stuff. Uh, as with all of uh, Dale's soaps, they lather super, super easy. Probably less than 30 seconds to get the brush nice and uh, loaded up. Hope everybody's doing well and their families are safe and healthy. As we get ready for Thanksgiving. Yeah, the lime and the fig really jump out. And you know, this scent was, uh, Dale had mentioned that he thought it was very light. It's not that bad. Um, but as with all Victory Shaving Company soaps, they're very slick. They'll take on a good amount of water. And it was very nice of Dale, being one of our artisan retailers, to uh, do this special soap. Especially for the CEC, the Central Enablement Center has been a joke dating back to the old place where a group of us would basically enable others to really enjoy purchasing and getting new stuff. Beautiful lather on this, um, as is typical with uh, Dale's stuff. Glide and the cushion are really nice.
and the post shave feels really good as well. Um, as you shave, the lime kind of starts fading away more into the fig. And then you start to get the cedar. The juniper really hasn't made itself known yet, but I'm sure it will. With the fact that there's only a limited number of these, I would definitely head on over to VictoryShaving.com and pick those up. The uh, The hardest part about Dale soaps is they're so unique as far as uh, scents that sometimes it can be a little bit tough to match an aftershave and a uh, fragrance. Um, now, obviously, there's some fig fragrances out there, um, but uh, one that I found that always seems to work is the Swiss version of uh, Petrolon. Seems to like to uh, chameleon itself to whatever fragrance you're using. And the thing is, that what's also nice about most of Dale's soaps is they're not so strong that you can't pair other items rather than just the scent profile. Tremendous. Although there's no menthol in this, um, I think the juniper provides a little bit of cooling. Um, so it's very nice on the face. And if you have not heard of Victory Shaving Company before, it's a small artisan company out of Wyoming. Uh, strong military background. Um, really likes to help the veterans. Now the important part of this soap uh, that's very dear uh, to me when we were designing it is that $2 of every purchase goes to the Fisher House. And the Fisher House basically helps military families. And so it's super important. So when you're looking at his stuff, you know, just throw this tin in there if, if it's available and help out um, the Fisher House as well. I forgot to congratulate the members of the TSC. Uh, last week sometime we went over 500 members and we are now at 501 as of the last time I checked. So thank you everybody for all your support. There's been a few rough patches and 
differences of opinion from some of our members on how we should do things. And that's okay. But understand what Chris, Chad, and I do, although to the, the outside may seem sometimes harsh, may seem sometimes unreasonable. There are things that, uh, that we do and all of it is done with the best interest of the uh, member in mind. Fantastic Dale uh, from Victory Shave Shaving Company. Hit it out of the park, my friend. Not only is the fragrance profile nice, the show, soap performance is great. And most importantly, we get to help out military families at the Fisher House with every purchase. Uh, the juniper starts to come in at the end, but you're still getting mostly fig, in my opinion. Mostly fig um, in the lime. Perfect uh, glide and slickness, so no feedback from the uh, alum at all. And definitely a DSBBS shave. And as I said, sometimes the aftershave portion of things can be kind of difficult because you're not quite sure. Um, since his his fragrances are so unique, what to uh, what to pair it with? So again, CEC TSC Tough Hombres, uh, Victory Shaving Company, very very nice. But we're going to be using our active Aqua Velva Sport. This was the one that kind of matched, you know, uh, a little bit. And as typical with Aqua Velva, it's just good stuff. Whether it be the sport version or whether it be the original blue. And sticking with the vintage theme, I'm going to go with the vintage men in shave talc. And once again, in Arizona, and it's all its beauty, we're going to be in the 90s again today, so we can't make up our mind whether it's November or whether it's September. And with the Aqua Velva and that Juniper, it, you get a nice, nice little cooling effect. And then, of course, the British Sterling. Okay, and there we go. Okay, that's our shave series for this week, folks. We certainly appreciate you joining along here at Barbara Dave's Barbershop at Home. Uh, I'm Barbara Dave, and thank you so much for joining us. If you haven't checked out the Shaving Cadre before, please do so at www.theshavingcadre.com. I hope you and your family stay safe, and I hope you have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next Sunday. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.